Welcome citizens of Super Earth, we bring you a brand new video on Helldivers 2. Today we're going to take a look at the Major Order and its current status, and we also have a coded message from the Helldivers Twitter X profile. So like and subscribe, and hit that ding dong bell for the future spreading of democracy. Major Order is not going as planned folks. As of recording, we are actually failing miserably as you can see. We're failing on three fronts and losing ground on two, and we currently have 188,000 divers fighting the cause. I'm not that confident that we will actually succeed on this order, as we have one day and 20 hours left to get four planets liberated, to which these planets have been a nightmare to defend. Just as it looks like we're about to get something done, the percentage goes down. The order has been live for over 26 hours now as well, and we've only got one planet liberated. One planet! Over the weekend, yes, we had about 100,000 more divers, but one planet would take about six hours. Even though we've cut it in half, that should basically be about, if you do the math, 12, maybe 16 hours? But it's taken over 26 hours to get one planet done. I can see this being a big stretch and... We're not going to do it, folks. I really can't see it. With the current spread of divers on the automaton front, some planets, which are not in the defend mode, are actually failing as well. It seems to be that Joel has up the amount of bots on each difficulty. There are so many, it's just incredibly insane. Let me know what you think about this down below, folks. Are we going to complete this major order or not? In our next bit of news... The Helldivers Twitter X to account today put out the following. As you can see, it's all binary code, zeros and ones. Well, someone's translated it and we have the following, thanks to Tannersboy04. Where is Carl? Who the hell is Carl? This has caused everyone to look into the lore and also the game more because just who the hell is this guy? Who is Carl? Is Carl the guy in the invasion video at the start? The one who loses his family? This is just another great example of Arrowhead moving the story forward in a fun and inventive way. And it's also the community, they're involved. They're getting story details, updates, and it's just great to see that they are involving everyone. About three hours after they sent that tweet out, it was actually deleted by them, and then they posted the following. The Ministry of Truth would like to dispel any rumours that Super Earth Deep Range Transmissions were intercepted with an illegal automaton broadcast today. SEAF comms, they've identified a minor systems fault that resulted in a quick burst of static interference, please disregard. I absolutely love this type of marketing and how companies, they just get people involved. It's a fun and inventive way. It always has been. Other companies can do the same sort of thing, put things out. But when you actually got a game like Helldivers 2, where the community is absolutely in love with the game and they're looking at lore, they're looking into the past game. They're trying to find every single bit of story detail that they can. Which, completely sidestep in this a moment, I didn't even know that the brains inside the automatons are human. I saw that the other day and my mind was blown. Again, if that's not even the case and it's not real or it's just some kind of propaganda put out by him, I absolutely love it. But... What's going to happen with Carl? Just who is he? If any of you know who Carl is, let us know below. Before we end the video, I saw this on Reddit, and I just really, really want Cyberstan to look like this. Cyberstan better look like this, not just another barren planet with rocks and foliage. And to be honest with you, I saw this and I was like, oh my god, even though it's the Matrix, this would just be so amazing to see in game. Imagine you see this. You're on the floor, you've got your uh, Scorcher, or you've got the Liberator, you're going around, you see this, 
and you got all the ships coming for you, it would be absolutely insane. But I really don't think we're going to get this. And we all know this probably isn't going to happen. We'll more than likely see more of a Malevolent Creek type of vibe to Cyberstan. But we will be getting to Cyberstan though, folks, within the next week. And we will all be able to finally see Cyberstan. And where all this mining has actually been happening for the automatons. I do want to see some mining going on though. Because if they put us on there and there's no big holes or anything like that. Then what's the point of saying that they've been mining on Cyberstan? So let me know as well, folks, if the hotfixes have been good for you since the update yesterday. Because, well, we've had a lot of things going on, but the crashes have gone for myself. I don't know about anyone else. Let us know below, folks, and let's keep spreading that democracy.